light of life. The Bible says that we all of our sin and all of our glory of God. So each room, circle around your black trash bag and hold on to it. Son Jesus to die on the cross and save us from sin. We asked the kids to write down what they were sorry for and throw it into a black trash bag. Their crew leaders then placed it on the cross on the stage. Soon after that, we had someone as Jesus come and remove those black trash bags. It was definitely symbolic and important for the kids to see. After, the Melody came up to say a prayer. That day, we heard that some of the kids came to know Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. Uh, Emma and I made that video for a little week in review kind of thing. So, hi everyone, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, well, I'm going to give my testimony about this past VBS or Vacation Bible School. So, I'm reading from my phone, so I hope you don't mind. Um, it was really fun, and I never pictured myself speaking in front of kids and actually teaching them God's Word. So, it was amazing how everything worked out. Well, I'm going to tell you about how I started to know about VBS. So I was raised as a Catholic. I went to Mass with my brother and my mom, and I can honestly say that I didn't understand any of the messages they were saying. And I literally fell asleep on the pews during the Mass. So then my older cousin invited me to a VBS taking place at his church. I forgot exactly how old I was, but I was pretty young. I met so many new friends, and I even went for two years. That was the first time I was introduced to the Gospel and how, how Jesus loves me. Soon after that, I was invited to this church. I learned so, so much about God and, how, and was even saved here through Sunday school and junior worship. So for me, my growth really started through a VBS. I said this before, but I really never thought of teaching kids or anything like that. I was asked to do this year's VBS as the MC, and I was actually afraid of doing it. I was too afraid to do it alone. I was like, really, me, by myself? Are you sure I can't have a partner? But Dita Melody insisted and said I'd be fine. So rehearsal happened and it was all right. I started to actually get excited for this VBS. I was also able to help Janella teach the kids through something called, something called Kid Vid Cinema, where the kids would watch videos and we asked them questions. Day one came and it was amazing and these, there were kids dancing out of their seats and into the aisles. I was so inspired and encouraged to keep going. After the week, I started to look back at what really happened during VBS. I was so amazed. I feel so blessed to be a part of something like this. Rodita Melody was saying how we might not see how much this VBS affected their lives now, but we did, we did our part to plant the seed, and now it's up to God's plan. Now I'm excited about how they'll be in the future. Our theme for VBS focused a lot on Jesus' one-of-a-kind love for each of us. Each day we had a Bible point. For example, even though we feel left out, different, don't understand, do wrong, and are afraid, Jesus loves you. We have we had the kids um, repeat after us, and they would they would kind of be like the theme of each day. So these two verses are examples of what we talked about in our lessons. So Matthew twenty eight twenty, I am with you always, even to the end of the age, and also Matthew fourteen twenty seven, don't be afraid, take courage, I am with you. So I remember. Um, every time we asked the kids to take out their Bibles, or the, the crew leaders to take out their Bibles, we would always put it on the screen, but we would always say, because this generation, we would always depend on ele electronics and stuff like that, so we would always have to say, everything from the screen comes straight from the Bible, so they don't forget about that. So, I remember Janelle and I were teaching a class, and it was about being scared or alone, and how we can always run to Jesus whenever we feel that way. One of the kids asked, how can we run to Jesus if we can't see him? And that's one of the questions that's important for someone to know the answer to. So it's all about faith and trust in God. So we answered like this. It's like air. We can't see it, but we just know it's always there. So God is everywhere, and we can just pray to him when we feel scared or alone. So before VBS, I actually went to a camp called Word of Life Ireland with our youth group. And I remember this lesson about how God is omnipresent, meaning that he's everywhere. So during VBS, I just remembered that message. It's really important, important to know because we are actually never alone. 
we always turn to Jesus when we have, we can always turn to Jesus when we have something bothering us, or even if we just want to chat. It's amazing how this all works. That's what stood out to me and really spoke to my heart. So I'm just so thankful that I was able to do this, and it's so amazing just watching the kids praise God and learn more about Him. So thank you to everyone who helped make this happen. All glory to Him. Thank you.